Hi, this is Robert Jean here in Oklahoma. I'm actually at home and um, I was out here looking at this car. I got a, had a gas leak, so I need to put a new tank in it. But I was also uh, just coming back from uh, visiting with some friends and a couple of new guys I never met before were there. And uh, of course, you know, they ask about what I do and I tell them, well, I'm, you know, I'm a behavioral engineer knowing how to change memories and change uh, your behaviors that uh, you've been programmed to, to do. And so um, both of these guys are both are in, in, you know, in, in the military in uh, Afghanistan and uh, one of them, you know, has in a, been through rehab trying to deal with his addiction and the other one, you know, he just drinks and having relationship issues. Um, and so I started talking to these guys and, you know, kind of explaining how the mind works and how PTSD works. Now, it's, it's um, what I have is uniquely different than any other therapies because most of the therapies don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, basically, if you understand how the brain works, basically, you have an experience, you got a gun in your hand, you're doing your job, and, you know, the emotions are up, the intensity's up, you see things happen. And what your brain does in the background, it's, uh, you know, you have the limbic system, which is basically your survival system. And um, it starts capturing moments. It means, you know, the gunfire or what happened over here in memories will go into your mind. And the physical sensations are also recorded. And um, so now here you are, all this event happened. It's, it's, it's a lot of chaos going on in your mind. And so you, 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 know, you go back to your bunk and now you're, you're geared up. You've got you, you, you're, it's just a lot, of, a lot of anxiety and stuff. And so you've been actually programmed to survive. And so now here you are, you're away from, you're, you're back in the stage, you're back at home, but you still got this anxiety because your brain is trying to keep you alive. It's trying to keep you safe. It still think you're still over there. And so you have nightmares, you have hot, you have flashes, you have uh, weird physical behaviors because your brain is trying to keep you alive. Uh, the truth is you're not there. You know that logically, you're sitting here watching this video. And so you have a lot of weird stuff going on. Now, if you had a lot of experiences with, with you, know, you know, colleagues, bosses, whoever it is in your life, this is still gonna operate. And so uh, I've been working with a lot of vets, uh, a lot of individuals who go through rehab, because I volunteer my time for about eight years, nine years, and rehabs, helping the guys get their head cleaned up. So, I'll share a couple of stories. Uh, this last time I was there, there was a guy who, of course, you know, you can't talk about this stuff. You, you can't even deal with it, you don't wanna look at it. The best thing you can do is, is drink, work, drug it, do not think about it, because when you think about it, you feel it. I call it an autonomic trance, it means you just go in a trance, you feel it, your body, your brain is making your body feel weird, you feel like you're there, you're going crazy, you don't know how to deal with it, and you're trying some way to divert your attention. So, uh, you know, I do sessions, so they come in, I do a two hour session, and I, of course, this guy, he's scared, you know, he says, man, I don't, I'm afraid to talk about this stuff, you know. I said, listen, you don't have to talk about it. You know, just pick a memory, pick the worst one, don't even tell me about it. Just identify it in your mind, notice that you feel it, and I'll work you through it. So. So what I did is I took about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, cleaned up the memory without even telling me what it was. Now, how do you do that? Well, first of all, he knows what's in his head. He can feel it in his body. And we use a process that's very simple. You can go learn it on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can type in Faster of Tea, Healing Magic is my YouTube stuff, or uh, your Taptics. And you can just try it. You don't have to believe it works. It's a little bit different, but it beats the hell out of what you've been doing suffering and enduring, drinking and drugging, going crazy. Just learn how to do it yourself. Now, if you've got big memories, big traumas, you don't know how to deal with it, you need one of my, my uh, uh, practitioners or I can help you. And um, so anyway, so, so this is how the brain works. You have these experiences, your brain captures it and puts it in the background. Now you're driving down the street, you see something, you hear something, all of a sudden you go into what you call a full autonomic trance. That means you start to feel it, you don't know what to do with it, pictures start flashing through your head, you're there again. So once you can collapse what we call bad good collapse, you collapse the emotions, the sensations from the body, the memory can still be there, but it doesn't impact you anymore because you release these sensations in your body. Uh, first guy I worked with, well, probably not the first one, but the early ones, the guy was, uh, 
he's at Pearl Harbor and um, he, he's, he comes in, we start working on several other memories and this is one of the big ones, is that he, he started, he's, you know, he started trembling and he started crying because you know, he, he says, I, I'm there. I can see the Jap in the plane right before he kills all my colleagues, all his guys. He's the only survivor. Within one round, a couple of rounds of what I do, all of a sudden, gone. That means he said, well, I can see it, but it doesn't bother me now. I don't feel it. I don't feel guilty. I don't feel this. And because what we did is we collapsed the sensations of the autonomic trance. That's, that's one of hundreds of thousands of memories. And another guy, just recently, I was in a rehab working, and of course, he was using methamphetamines as a horrible drug. Great escape of pain, but the problem is when you come off of it, the, your, your pain's worse, you lose everything. He was a good guy. He just didn't know how to deal with this stuff. So he comes in and I said, don't tell me it. So I cleaned that up, I worked through the memory, and I said, give me more. See, look, we went through it, check it, make sure it bothers you, see if you can make it bother you. He couldn't, I said, won't you give me the rest of them? And all you do is just write down, just give me the title of a memory, you don't have to go in detail. And so for the next two hours, we started changing a lot of these big memories. Memories you can't even talk about. Memories that were super strong, uh, kinesthetically, physically. And by the time we're done, we go check them, it says it doesn't bother him. And then, um, so I see him the next day, and we did another session, and I said, well, how are you doing? He said, you know, last night I slept all night. I've been waking up six times a night. And I said, okay, that's good. He said, what else? He said, well, you know, I have, every time I go out to smoke, I get so anxious. I mean, it's, I feel really anxious when I feel like I want to smoke. And I said, well, let me explain how your brain works again. I said, well, what could happen? You'd be out there, you're out there smoking and something happens. And your brain will actually wire, link the, the smoking to that sensation. He goes, oh yeah, 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 I know what happened. I said, what is it? He goes, uh, uh, is that night, me and my buddy are sitting against a Humvee on guard talking and he looked up, he said all these tracer rounds coming right at him. So he jumps underneath the Humvee and saved his life. So his brain says, smoking, be cautious, something bad is getting ready to happen. So every time he smoked, these things were wired in his brain. You know, didn't take no time to clean that one up because it's about the brain wiring things together. Now this is a natural thing that the brain does. It does it all the time. You know, you, you feed the dog, ring the bell, feed the dog, ring the bell. It's that simple. But knowing how to go inside your mind from the inside of your mind out, which means uh, there's pictures, there's sensations, there's sounds, there's tastes and smells, and how your, your limbic system, which you know, part of the limbic system is you have a pair of amygdala, which is one on each side of the brain, the amygdala. And I call it the, the amygdala is like, I say it's like two librarians. And they've had 50 cups of coffee and they work so fast all the data coming in, it starts categorizing, organizing it in different parts of the brain. The you know, visual, auditory cortexes, the motor cortex, et cetera. And it creates programs, and since it's sitting right next to the, uh, the uh, reptilian brain, or I call it the survival brain, now you, you're no longer there. You're here in America, you're here at home. All of a sudden you hear a sound, something all of a sudden this part of it snaps in, and you're that back there feeling like you, you're back in Afghanistan or wherever your trauma comes from. So what you do is you collapse the feelings and the sensations and change internally, then the problem's gone. Now here's the cool thing. You can do a single memory, sometimes with an expert, less than five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, or maybe even longer. Depends how intense it is involved. And also it is super, super simple. So here it is. I work with that, work on some other memories, some childhood stuff. Because a lot of people who have really big PTSDs also probably had it when they're growing up as a child. They had experiences all the way up and then it just compounds and compounds and compounds. They call it complex PTSD. But all it is is just memories. Now, if you understand memory is, if you understand your brain, your brain is like a computer, but it's different than a computer because it's always adjusting and expanding. Memories, whatever the memories are, are actually what we call program, just a program by itself. It's in your cortex, it's sitting back there waiting to be used. It's, it's, it, you, can't, you don't even notice it's there until a sound, a look, and all of a sudden the memory pops in, you start to feel and respond, you go into an autonomic trance, and then you act crazy and wonder why you're acting crazy. You got thoughts flowing through your head and you don't know what to do. You can calm your brain with this system. Now here's a good thing. It's free on YouTube. Go watch my videos. You don't have to freaking believe it. Try it, do it, practice it over and over again. Notice what you do in your head and then use it. I have a free seven day course on my um, website, fasterft.com, it's free, seven day course, showing you how your brain works. Try it, do it, test it. You're gonna get results.
Now, since you're veterans, I, I support veterans. I believe in veterans. I want to help veterans. If you want help, give me, send me an email. I'll, I, either I can help you or I'll get one of my practitioners to help. But I'm here to help you. We want you to be able to live a good life and to share the changes that you have. So anyway, this is Robert Smith here with my car. You can see it's been dusty. It's been sitting here for like three to six months because I've been away teaching and training around the world. I have, I have seminars all around the world, so if you want to come and check it out, come check it out if you're a veteran. If you're coming from this, from the military, uh, either police officers, fire, fire, um, firemen, uh, you can come as my guest. Just write me and we'll let you come. I want to help you guys. I want to, get, I want to help you get control of your life and start, start creating something better than what you had. So anyway, this is Robert here in Oklahoma. Robert Gene. Peace, guys. There's hope.